tell us about this new Lytro camera and, and why is it so different uh, from other cameras in the past? So this uh, new Lytro camera is the first consumer light field camera available. The reason that's important is because although photography has been around now for a couple hundred years um, and tremendous advances have been made in photography, all photography from plates to film to digital cameras of today are fundamentally the same. I mean, they, they capture the same two-dimensional information. So the, the big breakthrough here uh, in producing a light field camera is that we capture a much richer set of information from the real world. In fact, what we're capturing is called the light field. And the light field is all of the light moving in every direction and every point in space. So while that's sort of this lofty definition, what it allows us to do is preserve the direction of light at every point of capture. Now for consumers, what that means is you can do things like refocus pictures after you've taken them. And that's just the first thing that light field cameras do, but even that in itself is pretty uh, different than what normal cameras have done in the past. A uh, typical digital camera captures one image. Isn't what you're doing, in a, in a sense, capturing a thousand different images with, with, with each image? It's, it's really that we're capturing now multi-dimensional data. Okay. So instead of capturing this two-dimensional moment frozen in time, which is, which is uh, how we've been capturing memories so far, we're capturing multi-dimensional data. Now that data has to be then processed into a picture uh, and in some ways normal cameras do this now, but this is much more computationally intensive and in fact puts all of this picture taking in this computation, you know, ties it to computers basically. You still get pictures out of it which are interactive and multidimensional and, and that means that you can actually view them in 3D as well. Um, and so what you really get out of it is this unlocked, uh, unlocked moment, you know, you can now interact with this moment that you've captured much more. As a photographer yourself, how does this affect the way you approach shooting photos? Uh uh, for yourself? Yeah, so this, this is a, a new form of photography and um, again it's, it's really the first big transformation in photography and, uh, and it's been uh, very rewarding, rewarding to learn about light field um, because it changes the way that I think about storytelling. You know, photographers are really just telling stories, most, you know, either about their lives or about the things around them and to have more dimensions to work with is a powerful thing for storytelling. It's just like having more tools to tell the story. And so that's affected me you know, as a light field photographer, but it's also changed the way that I think about normal photography. You know, I think much more about depth and relationships in depth, even when I'm shooting with a traditional camera. But as the storyteller, I can either freeze the focus in a certain place and export it, or I can allow the people viewing the pictures to interact with these moments that I've captured, these living pictures. Uh, so I can set the default focus, but then they can, you know, there might be something in the background that's obscured and they can click on it to see what it is. And that can tell a story, you know, that relationship, which takes user interaction, uh, can be a very powerful storytelling tool.